Alexandra Exter Alexandra Exter was born on December 6, 1882 in Baturin, a small town in the Chernyov Governorate of the Russian Empire, now part of Ukraine. She came from a well-to-do family. Her father, who was a landowner, provided her with the stability and resources that allowed her to pursue her artistic ambitions. From an early age, Exter was drawn to the arts, influenced by the rich cultural environment of her family and the artistic traditions of the region. Exter's formative years were spent in the late Russian Empire, a period marked by significant social and political upheaval. The early 20th century was a time of dramatic change in Russia, with the 1917 Russian Revolution leading to the establishment of the Soviet regime. This era saw the rise of various avant-garde movements, which played a crucial role in shaping the cultural and artistic landscape. Exter's artistic education began at the Kiev Art School, where she was exposed to a variety of artistic styles and techniques. She furthered her studies at the Moscow School of Painting, Sculpture, and Architecture, where she was influenced by prominent figures of the Russian avant-garde, such as Kazimir Malevich and Vasily Kandinsky. These experiences were instrumental in shaping her unique style, which combined elements of cubism, futurism, and constructivism. Throughout her career, Exter faced numerous challenges, particularly during the tumultuous political changes in Russia. The rise of Soviet socialist realism and the subsequent repression of avant-garde movements posed significant obstacles for artists like Exter. The political environment often led to difficulties in exhibiting and promoting her work. Despite these challenges, she continued to produce and exhibit her art, adapting her style to the changing political and social climate. Alexandra Exter married the artist and critic Alexei Exter in 1910. The couple's marriage was both a personal and professional partnership as they collaborated on various projects and shared a deep commitment to the avant-garde movement. However, their relationship faced strains due to the political and social upheavals of the time. Exter's personal life was marked by significant transitions, including moving between different countries as she navigated the changing artistic and political landscapes of Europe. One of the most intriguing aspects of Exter's life was her involvement in the vibrant artistic circles of Europe. She was closely associated with influential figures in the avant-garde movements and participated in major exhibitions across Europe, including those in Paris and Berlin. Exter's work was known for its innovative use of color, form, and abstraction, reflecting her deep engagement with contemporary artistic trends. Her contributions to art extended beyond painting, She was also a pioneer in the field of theatrical design, creating costumes and sets for various productions. Her work in this area was highly regarded and further demonstrated her versatility and creativity. Alexandra Exter's life and career were a testament to her resilience and artistic vision. Despite facing significant challenges due to the political and social upheavals of her time, she remained a key figure in the avant-garde movements and made lasting contributions to modern art. Her innovative approach and dedication to her craft continue to be celebrated, and her legacy endures in the fields of painting, design, and theatrical arts. Here are five most famous works by Alexandra Exter. The Red Square 1914. The Red Square is a vibrant work that exemplifies Exter's engagement with cubism and futurism. The painting features bold geometric shapes and dynamic forms arranged in a vivid red, white, and black palette. The composition is characterized by its fragmented, abstracted forms that create a sense of movement and energy. This work reflects Exter's interest in the dynamic nature of urban life and modernity. The use of geometric abstractions conveys the bustling, energetic atmosphere of Moscow's Red Square, capturing both the physical and symbolic essence of this iconic location. 
The piece also reflects the broader trends in early 20th century avant-garde art, focusing on abstraction and the exploration of new visual languages. The Tragedy of the World, 1924 The Tragedy of the World is a powerful, dramatic painting featuring dark, somber tones and a composition that evokes a sense of turmoil and conflict. The work includes abstracted human figures and chaotic forms, rendered in deep blues and blacks with striking highlights of red. This painting is a reflection on the social and political upheavals of the early 20th century. Exter uses abstract forms and intense colors to express the emotional and psychological impact of global events, such as wars and revolutions. The work conveys a sense of despair and crisis, while also highlighting the artist's response to the turbulent times she lived through. Costume Design for the Firebird 1926 This work is a costume design for the ballet The Firebird, showcasing Exter's skill in theatrical design. The design features bold, geometric patterns and vibrant colors that align with her modernistic aesthetic. The costumes are both stylized and abstract, reflecting the fantastical and mythical elements of the ballet. The costume design captures the essence of the mythical Firebird character and the overall theme of the ballet. Exter's innovative approach to costume design highlights her ability to translate her avant-garde sensibilities into theatrical contexts. The use of abstract patterns and bright colors enhances the visual impact of the performance and demonstrates her contribution to modern stage design. Composition in Red, Blue, and Yellow 1919 This abstract work features a harmonious arrangement of geometric shapes and primary colors. The composition is characterized by its clean lines and balanced forms, creating a visually striking piece that emphasizes the interaction of color and form. The painting reflects Exter's exploration of abstraction and her engagement with the principles of constructivism. The use of primary colors and geometric forms illustrates her interest in reducing visual elements to their essentials, creating a sense of clarity and order. The work also demonstrates her influence by the Russian avant-garde and her contribution to the development of modernist art. The Return of the Prodigal Son, 1922 This painting presents an abstracted interpretation of the biblical parable, featuring fragmented forms and a subdued color palette. The composition includes dynamic, intersecting shapes that suggest the narrative of the prodigal son's return and reconciliation. Exter's interpretation of this classic biblical story is infused with modernist abstraction, reflecting her innovative approach to traditional subjects. The fragmented forms and muted colors convey the emotional complexity of the narrative, while also highlighting the artist's ability to reinterpret familiar themes through a contemporary lens. Apart from these five notable works, Alexandra Exter is also known for her abstract compositions, other costume and set designs, and various innovative works that contributed to the avant-garde movement. Her oeuvre includes pieces that span a range of styles and media, further demonstrating her versatility and impact on modern art. Alexandra Exter was a significant figure in the development of the Russian avant-garde movement, particularly the constructivist and cubist styles. Constructivism, which emerged in Russia in the early 20th century, was characterized by its focus on abstract, geometric forms and a rejection of traditional artistic methods. Exter's work played a crucial role in shaping this movement, especially through her innovative use of color, form, and her contributions to theatrical design. Exter was deeply influenced by several key figures in the early 20th century avant-garde scene. Her exposure to cubism and futurism was pivotal, especially the works of artists like Pablo Picasso and Giorgio de Chirico. 
Picasso's exploration of fragmented forms and abstraction resonated with Exter, and she incorporated these elements into her own work, blending them with her unique vision. Additionally, the dynamic compositions and emphasis on movement found in Futurism provided her with a framework to experiment with form and color. Exter studied at the Kiev Art School and the Moscow School of Painting, Sculpture, and Architecture. At these institutions, she was influenced by leading avant-garde artists and teachers such as Kazimir Malevich, a key proponent of suprematism, and Vasily Kandinsky, whose work in abstract art and color theory had a profound impact on Exter's artistic approach. Their mentorship helped shape her understanding of modernist principles and encouraged her experimentation with new artistic languages. Exter's approach was characterized by several innovative practices. Theatrical design. Exter brought a modernist sensibility to costume and set design, utilizing abstract forms and vibrant colors to enhance the visual impact of theatrical productions. Her designs for ballets like the Firebird were notable for their bold geometric patterns and integration of avant-garde aesthetics into stagecraft. Color and form. Her use of color was often experimental, applying bold primary colors in abstract compositions that emphasized geometric precision and dynamic interaction between shapes. This approach was a departure from the more traditional use of color and form in art, contributing to the evolution of constructivism. Abstract Abstractions Exeter's paintings often featured fragmented, abstracted forms that were influenced by cubism, but also reflected her unique style. Her ability to convey complex themes through simplified forms and colors demonstrated her innovative approach to abstraction. Constructivism was an art movement that emerged in Russia in the 1910s, emphasizing abstract, geometric forms and a focus of the materiality of art. It was a response to the social and political changes of the time, aiming to create art that was relevant to the modern industrial society. Constructivists sought to reject traditional artistic techniques in favor of new, innovative approaches that reflected the technological and social advancements of the era. Exter was influenced by a variety of materials including collage. She utilized collage techniques to create dynamic compositions, combining various materials and textures to add depth and interest to her work. Mixed Media Her use of mixed media allowed her to experiment with different textures and surfaces, contributing to the innovative quality of her designs. Geometric Shapes the incorporation of geometric shapes and bold colors was central to her style, reflecting her engagement with modernist principles and her interest in exploring the visual impact of abstraction. Overall, Alexandra Exter's contributions to art were marked by her innovative use of form, color, and material, which helped shape the development of constructivism and modernist art. Her work in both painting and theatrical design left a lasting impact on the avant-garde movement and continues to be celebrated for its creativity and originality. In the later years of her life, Alexandra Exter faced a series of significant challenges and changes. The political landscape in Russia was shifting dramatically during the early 1930s as the Soviet government increasingly cracked down on avant-garde and modernist art. The rise of Stalinism and the push for socialist realism led to a suppression of many modernist movements, including constructivism, which Exeter had been a leading figure in. Despite these challenges, Exeter continued to work and adapt her artistic practice. She focused more on applied arts, including theater and design, adapting her innovative style to the constraints imposed by the changing political climate. Her work during this period reflected a shift towards more socially and politically acceptable themes, although her avant-garde roots remained evident. The major historical changes that affected Exter in her later years included the rise of Stalinism, 
The consolidation of Stalin's power in the Soviet Union led to the persecution of many artists associated with avant-garde movements. Exter, along with many of her contemporaries, faced increasing pressure to conform to the new artistic norms dictated by the state. The shift to socialist realism. The Soviet government's endorsement of socialist realism as the official artistic style meant that artists like Exter, who had been associated with avant-garde movements, found themselves marginalized. This period saw a significant shift in the cultural landscape of the Soviet Union, with many modernist artists being sidelined or persecuted. Alexandra Exter did not have direct descendants, but her influence extended through her students and followers. She had a significant impact on younger generations of artists and designers, both in Russia and internationally. Her innovative approach to art and design influenced numerous artists who came after her, and her work continued to be studied and celebrated by scholars and art historians. Alexander Exter passed away on March 17, 1949, in Paris, France. Her death marked the end of a significant chapter in modernist art, but her legacy lived on. She was buried in the Montparnasse Cemetery in Paris, a resting place for many prominent artists and intellectuals of her time. After her death, Alexandra Exter's contributions to art and culture continued to be recognized and celebrated. Her innovative work in both painting and theater design had a lasting impact on the development of modern art. She is remembered for her pioneering role in constructivism and her ability to integrate avant-garde aesthetics into various forms of artistic expression. Exter's influence can be seen in the continued exploration of abstract forms and dynamic compositions in contemporary art. Her contributions to costume and set design have also been acknowledged in the field of theater and performance art, where her innovative approach to visual storytelling continues to inspire new generations of artists and designers. Overall, Alexandra Exter's legacy remains a testament to her creativity, resilience, and significant role in shaping the modernist art movement. Her work continues to be studied and celebrated for its originality and impact on the trajectory of 20th century art.